much. Well, developing tonight, people are mourning the loss of a construction worker and a Georgia State trooper. So they were both hit and killed on Interstate 75 within the last 24 hours. This all started around 10 p.m. yesterday between Mount Zion Boulevard and Jonesboro Road in Clayton County. Georgia Department of Public Safety says a driver drove right into the construction zone and then struck the contractor, 68-year-old Nathan McCreary. State troopers headed out to respond to that deadly crash. And then early this morning, Trooper First Class Chase Retner was also hit. He was rushed to Grady Hospital where he later died. 11 Alive's Latasha Givens has been following this story for us tonight. And Latasha, what can you tell us about these two men who were killed? Well, good evening, Ron and Jennifer. We have two families in Metro Atlanta who are mourning the loss of loved ones who died in two different car crashes, but that happened in the same area. The Clayton County Medical Examiner confirms 68-year-old Nathaniel McCreary of Jonesboro is the construction worker who died in the crash that Trooper Chase Redner was investigating. The sudden and tragic death of Trooper First Class Chase Redner is striking a chord with many, including his fellow law enforcement officers. Georgia State Patrol released his department picture, listing he was part of the Specialized Collision Reconstruction Team. The 28-year-old died early Tuesday morning while investigating a fatal crash involving construction worker Nathaniel McCreary. His neighbors say he was a kind man who was nice to everyone and a good officer. He's a very nice guy, a nice officer. He gave me very useful information regarding some, some other issues. The smile in this yearbook photo from Lumpkin County High School is the same smile residents across Georgia would come to know. This social media post on X captures Retner conducting a traffic stop back in 2021. Departments from all over the state are sending condolences, including the Dawson County Sheriff's Office, who reflects on Trooper Retner being a guest on their podcast. According to a state law enforcement certification, the 28-year-old spent his entire policing career with Georgia State Patrol. It's very unfortunate. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry for the loss, the whole family. We reached out to both families offering condolences and to see if they had a public message they wanted to share, and today they just were not ready. We'll bring you more details as they become available. Ron and Jennifer, back to you. Latasha, thank you so much. We're certainly thinking of those families in the law enforcement communities and construction communities as well.